What's up, everybody? It's Crypto Muscle back to you with another YouTube video. And in this episode, it's about the dApps, ETH dApps, and what's going on in the ETH dApps world, which is pretty much nothing right now. And since the rage is Tron dApps, I'll be talking about the hottest two that are out there at the moment, uh, which would be Tucanair and uh, Pyrobank, since everybody's talking about them. So I want to just take a look at them and comment on them as well. So starting off with the ETH dApps, uh, Ace wins dap. Uh, it's been kind of slowly going down. There's nothing much going on right now. Um, there's not much chatter in the Discord on what's next for this. They just kind of just said just to kind of maintain and invest and so on and so forth. And um, yeah, so there's not much really going on in Ace Wins right now. Um, ever since there's the, I guess you could say a falling out between Oracle and Ace. Um, when they were supposed to come out with the Ace Extreme tap earlier in the week. Um, uh, the only thing that Oracle had was, it was uh, dirty devs, dirty devs. So, whatever the case may be, there's, um, there's nothing much going on with Ace wins at the moment. And so, moving on to Blue Chip Fun. Blue Chip Fun... Um, ever since it almost touched 300, it's been steadily going down, so it's still holding though. I mean, 265 is pretty good. It's holding, you know, because it touched nearly 300. I guess it was like late last week, early this week, somewhere around there, when it hit 298. And then, uh, it just kind of just slowly went down. Again, there's not much going on with this one as well. Uh, Blue Chips version 2 is supposed to be coming out soon, uh, but they haven't really put a time on it, timeline on it, and they don't seem to be in any rush to push out any sort of, you could say, games or any sort of um, attachment um, type games to for dividends to kind of spill over into. So with this one, it's... Um, same thing, not much really going on right now. It's kind of quiet on the ETH DAP front. Um, let's see. Yep, yeah, so version 2. Uh, still the same thing, just redesign coming. This is version 1 of the DAP, one of the, the Blue Chips version 1. And uh, hopefully no one's further invested into this, or else you'll be stuck holding the bag, so to speak. Um, because if you're the last one to invest into the card and no one else buys it off of you, then you're stuck with it. So that's how this game is played. This, this kind of just um, ended it probably within the first few hours of the launch of this game. So... Uh, that's that. Then going into Kondiji. And this one's just kind of st uh, steadily going down as well. It's at 1395. I believe it was just around 1400 earlier in the week. So it's just kind of holding. Not much going down. You know, right now, not much going on right now. Uh, it's just kind of holding. So you have 1395, 10% in, 10% out. Imagine if you were like Saint last year and just kind of bought into it. And just kind of held your crypto like he's been talking about. Man, all the ups and downs, the spike up to 1900, back down, up to 1900 again, and then shooting past 1900 to like, what, 2500. Imagine all the gains that, that he had out of that. And if you caught that since last year, being in this thing, man. That would have been nice. I, I would have been, I would have loved that. But, uh, yeah, but that's not the case for me. So, um, yeah, so this is what's going on with uh, Gandhiji. 
which is pretty much not much going on right now, just like in all the other ETH dApps. Um, touch on FOMO Cube. They still say they're under construction. Um, even in the Discord, there's really not much really going on right now. And as you can see, as is left of this particular contract. Uh, I'm assuming whenever the next, no, I guess say version two of this is coming, then, um, yeah, then I guess this will go away as well. So whoever has this amount of ETH left better pull that out. So I don't want to sit there chasing for it later. Uh, let's see. And this one, Diamond Club. I think it peaked at around 29.30 ETH. And then after that, this kind of just dumped down, dumped down, dumped down. And now it's at 4.4. So I don't know what else to say about this one. Um... Yeah, I never got into FOMO Cube. Uh, never got into this Diamond Club either. Just didn't really catch my interest. I kind of lost interest after the whole blue chip fund and the, all the clones that came after it. And then I went into the Ace Wins with all the hype that came into that one. I kind of found that they all... You know, I guess you could say hourglass style daps are the same, right? You know, you you got to be in it for long term, like how Saint played out, you know, Gandhiji. You know, if you played it out like how he did and just left it in there for long term, man, you would have been cashing out. But uh, one of the newer ones that popped up that I was sent a link about was this one here, another dap. ETH DAP, similar style. The, I mean, it's, it's built exactly the same as P3D, as you can see. And um, they call this the Oracle Psycho Network. So I checked this out. This thing was launched last month in October. And um, so much to say about it. You know, someone's just kind of, kind of taking advantage of, of uh, using you know, his name and his images and all that. And then, as you can see, there's only not even a whole ETH in the contract because no one's really buying into this. And, of course, he's not buying into it as well. Else he would have been talking about it or he would have worked with, you know, the developers on it. You know, they would have had more advertising exposure about it. But someone was just trying to build this thing take advantage of the name and images and then this thing just fizzled because no one cares about this and that's why it's only sitting at 0.26 ETH in the contract so don't be fooled that you know because if he was in this he would have definitely pumped this thing up and, and there would have been more people involved in all that but as you can see there's nobody Nobody cares about this fake platform. So that's what I look at. Is it's just a fake platform. Um, now, before I go into the Tron dApps, I was uh, checking out the Discord. And uh, one of the Discord channels, Crypto Central, is... Uh, it was kind of renamed from last year because it used to be a daily divs channel. Because when you look at things like here, you know, what Jason posted last year about, you know, being respectful and blah, 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 blah. You know, FUD of daily divs is not allowed. So this was pretty much the channel. You know, he ran this uh, Discord last year and it was like the daily divs channel. Or I forgot what it was called, but. It was renamed when he kind of just disappeared from the scene. So, to, uh, I guess you could say to everybody's pleasure, he uh, reappeared yesterday. Uh, yeah, because uh, XCrypto247 kind of just ran this uh, room, I guess you could say room, um, 
after he disappeared or just kind of left, walked away for a little while. So X Crypto 247 took over and ran it, renamed it to Crypto Central. And I've just been in it ever since just to kind of stay on top of everything. He posts videos from time to time, you know, you know, with his YouTube channel, talking about his crypto, you know, adventures and experience. So, but again, uh, Jason came back from Daily Dibs. He said that um, some people may be mad at him for disappearing and apologize. He had death in the family. He was gone for most of 2019. Um, that's all he pretty much said why he hasn't been around. And then you have all these people saying welcome back. So Jason is back. For those of you that remember Daily Dibs from last year and that whole thing that <laughs> that happened with Daily Dibs with uh, time in crypto and the whole contract and uh, it was just a mess last year with Daily Divs. So uh, now on to the the rage right now, you know, which is uh, Toucan Air. So as you can see, I got zero Tron because I'm not in it. I chose not to be in it because I don't, um, I just don't have any Tron. I, I, play, I messed around with Tron dApps late last year, early this year, and I just personally don't care for it. It's just not my thing. And I, I just said, I'm just going to just sell it all out, get rid of all my Tron, and that's what I did. So I just don't want to mess around with penny with penny uh, altcoins, you know. So, you know, a thousand pennies is not the same as a thousand ETH, for example, right? So just saying, you know, you don't have to agree with me. And, you know, you could go back and forth about how fast Tron is. You could talk about, you know, how, you know, it's much better Tron is, but in the end, it's still one cent. So, that's the way I'm looking at it. But, again, you don't have to agree with me on it. I'm just saying. And, uh, yes, yeah, so on with the two canary launched earlier in the week. I think they said it hit about 17 million or 19 million, something like that. It dumped way down to seven, and then it kind of bottomed at the seven million mark. And now it just slowly increased back to 10 million currently. And so if those people that kind of hung in there through all the pump and dumping and now on the rise again, I guess that's good for those people because now they've, you know, made some uh, gains from it. But again, I'm just not my thing. I'm not messing with it. I just, I'm just here to talk about it and that's about it. So, um, that's what's the rage right now, to Canair, and it's still continuing to go up in the contract. Um, Pyra Bank, same thing. It's kind of the rage right now. This was out before to Canair. Um, they also launched just recently the the BTT version, and it's one thing to mess with the Tron version when it's a penny, you know, coin, but BTT version that's like below a penny each, so you could have like thousands of BTT, and you know it's not really a whole lot you're messing with. But um, here's a contract status for Pyra Bank, and if you want to put in Tron, and I obviously I have zero invested into it because I'm just not interested in uh, these Tron DApps or anything at the moment. But that's the status of that. Um, but yeah, those are the two main rages at the moment in the DAPS space. If you want to put DAPS of Tron and ETH together, the whole DAPS space. Well, ETH is kind of quiet right now. And these are kind of like the rage right now. So Toucan Air and Pyrobank. So that is going to be it today on the daps and what's going on in the dap space so comment down below on anything that i've talked about um or you have questions about or anything else to that matter uh, hit the like button if you like my video and uh, also subscribe to my channel as i continue to put out more videos as it comes so other than that, 
I'll see you in the next one.